Yes, my people, it is me, Tommy Roney123, even though 123 is not in the name, but guess what? It just rhymes, so I'm gonna say it. Guys, I'm back. Yeah, listen, I talked about this in the last video. You know, 442 is my biggest enemy. I hate facing the 442, I hate playing with the 442. But I think I have found a way to play with 442, guys, and I want to share it with you guys because, as you know, I am your custom tactics king, I am the one and only. Mr. G, come on man, you know how we do things on this channel guys, make sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on any future videos, and check out all my other videos from yesterday, the ones that are coming out today with the viewer squad builders guys, they're back, make sure to get involved, we have a few tutorials here and there, and we've got some funny videos coming out next week, so don't worry, stay tuned for that, as you can see, I've not had much time this um, season to really build myself up in terms of skill rating, but from next season, which ends in 4 days and 20 hours guys, you'll be seeing me going for the cheeky little top 200 guys maybe even first in the world because you know me I never stop working guys let's get straight into the video let's talk about 442 and exactly why it works after the patch I don't wanna... all right guys enough of that nonsense yeah getting straight into the 442 now the reason why people are not fans of 442 is because defensively it is not the best formation it is known to be defensively weak uh, but just because you know look guys in football you have lines yeah I'm gonna give you a little Cruyff session here in terms of tactical genius you have lines you need to get through guys and basically the third line is the final act kind of on the stage do you get what I mean guys this is the final battle now usually you have CDMs covering that and a four 4-2-3-1, if I show you guys really quickly, the 4-2-3-1, which I cannot find for the life of me somehow, since I spent all my life on this screen, I can't find it, 4-2-3-1, look at that guys, you have two CDMs, yeah, not Demory obviously, this is just random, but guys, two CDMs, those cover that back line, they help you to make sure that that third line does not get defeated, and if it gets defeated guys, because I'm using the wrong terminology, that's what happens, guys. But you in the 442, you have two centimeters rather than two CDMs. Yes, we have a 442 second variation, but it plays completely different and requires me to test it a lot more before I can bring out a video for you guys. Maybe next week. 442, meanwhile. Look, guys, I know how it works. I've used it, yeah. I've used it in qualifier matches last year. Uh, I know how it works, guys. Let's get straight into it, though, guys, because this one's a bit different this year. And I'm going to hit you with a few facts here that you need to be aware of. Um, this formation just requires you to be absolutely stupid in terms of I am here to attack, you know, press after possession loss guys, 38 width, now the reason for this is I'm just making it as narrow as possible, I need my players narrow, because when defending in a 4-4-2, it is so easy to get manipulated and just get donezoed, guys you don't want to get donezoed, yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not, you know, whatever, it gets donezoed, you are the kings, and queens let's be respectful guys uh 38 width 62 depth reason for that we're just pressing guys we're pressing the hell out of this this 442 is the formation you should be using if you're one goal down if you're two goals down if you need to turn the game around this is what you use guys 38 width 62 depth beautiful build up play now a lot of people play long ball on this one and i agree with them I totally agree with them. Long ball is the way to go. It gets your strikers moving forward, which the 442 struggles with sometimes, and it just gets your players going up uh, field. Really, slow build up would slow you down too much, and then fast build up, it doesn't work in a formation that has so many gaps in between. The 442, the players are a bit more spread out. So, long ball works because you're trying to play ahead into that final third. Chance creation guys, we are going to be going for direct passing as always. It just gets your players into the attacking zones that you want them in, which is outside the box, down the wings, and it just gets them involved guys, it's exactly what you need. Um, width in terms of attack guys, I am literally going to keep on 50, keep it the same as it is, keep it balanced. Players in the box, we're going to push it up to 7. Because I want as many players in there as possible. Now, if you feel like you have too many players committing and you can't get a ball back quickly or track back, put it on six. That'll work as well. But I play on seven. One corner is one free kicks because of all the glitches. You know how we do things. Um, now, your two strikers, guys. Um, one of them is going to be on stay forward getting behind. The other one is going to be on stay forward. But most importantly, both need to be on stay central. I want them down the middle, guys. I don't want my 4-4-2 uh, partnership up front to literally be moving around the place. I want them to stay central as something falls into my eye. Um, but I want them to stay central, people. That's exactly what I need from them, yeah? Because guess what? i got these two marauding down the sides. And that's exactly what we're going to have. Come back on defense and get into box for cross. Get into box for cross one of 
of the most essential um, you know, instructions on any winger this year just because the back post crosses are mad. They're just mad. Get the players in there, but because it's defensively weak, guys, you need them to track back and come back on defense as well. It's very, very important. Now, one of your sentiment is going to be on cover center. Balanced attack. The other one's going to be, guys, on stay back and cover center. Classic one, really, guys. Not You know, people, when they use 4-4-2, everyone really uses the same. There's not much difference with the 4-4-2. It works how it does because of its, you know, shape. So you shouldn't change that too much, guys. Balance, cover center, stay back, cover center. Goalkeepers on comms for crosses, as always, guys. And our left back and right back are both on stay back while attacking. That's all you need from them, guys, because they just need to sit there and help you out. They just need to sit there, look pretty, and do their job. That's exactly what they're there for, guys. Now, you probably don't believe me, so let's get straight into the gameplay with the 4 4 2. Don't wanna know. Come on. I want to know how the 4-4-2 works though. Let's go guys, straight into the 4-4-2. Now, like I said, it's a it's a formation that you use to come back when you're losing. But I'm going to be using it in an attacking capacity from minute one. Just to show you guys the kind of chances it can create. And the kind of places it can put you in, guys. And magical places is where it will send you. As we face Rating Cleric. A cleric that rates. Uh, you'll love to see that, guys. 21st century names on FIFA. As we get Mbappe straight into the danger area. Look guys, look who's running. Oh, that's unlucky. Van Dijk had us on ropes there. Now, this is why, I mean, look at the space Van Dijk has to run forward, guys. That is the weakness of the 4-4-2. Now, I'm playing with this in Elite Division, so yes, guys, it shows that it does work. But, like I said, you got to be careful, guys. you got to be super, super careful with the 4-4-2. The counter-attacks are sadly very, very deadly for the opposition. Um, as we... Try and get Marquinhos onto that. Oh, I thought that looked a lot closer than it was, actually. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I don't, you know... Oh, nearly had the ball there. But what you'll notice, though, nonetheless, is you'll get the ball back a lot quicker. Here we go, Bamba. Already, he's tracking back. Look at him tracking back, forcing the opposition to go back. Very, very nice. That's what you like to see. Track back, get the ball. Get the ball. Thank you. See what I mean, guys? I know we lost it as well. <laughs> Which kind of just kind of contradicts what I just said. But... It allowed us to, yeah, beautiful block. It allowed us to, um, what's his name? Get the ball back quickly. And the narrow shape threw my opponent off. He thought, oh, let me go down the wing. But Di Maria, bang, track back. Gets himself into a position to, well, get the ball back, really. And, well and truly, guys, there's not much more you need, really. Um, as we suffer again here. Which is normal, guys. Like I said, this is an attacking formation. You need a goal to come back. This is the formation you're using, guys. So, yes, you will be committing men forwards. Remember, I'm using this as a starter. Just to show you guys exactly how it works. Like the shapes and all that kind of stuff, guys. But you see, when someone's leading the game, they play a lot different as well. So, your opposition will not be... I don't know, people just start playing being so defensive-minded. Uh, and what that means is that you have all this new space that you didn't have before as we find some space here with Ben Yedda, 1-0. 1-0. You saw the patience, guys. You saw the patience and how it paid off. Well, it paid off, really. Beautiful pass into Ben Yedda. Di Maria tracks back. Even if you don't tackle Di Maria, that's okay. Hakimi is right there. Your right back, left back is right there. Um, make sure to obviously, if you guys need help within teams, let me know. I'm here to help you. But do please subscribe, do please like the video, because guys, you've got to show some support. Um, I really appreciate it massively, it does help. So I'm really, really happy if you guys can do that. Ben Yedo, like I said, not as many bodies, not as many bodies. But then bang, get the ball back, press up, press, press, press. Press again, press again, thank you for the ball, mate. Thank you for the ball. Uh, composure, Tom, where is it? No composure today from you guys. So, um, composure's gone out the window. As my opponent tries to make it down the wing, you think he's going to make it? No, he's not, guys. Kimpembe has it. Calm, composed, defending. Oh, what in the hell was that from Nkunku? I didn't expect that. That's poor from me. I should have checked the radar. Check the radar. Oh, plays me there. Plays me there, my opponent. Very nice first touch. Very good play. Sometimes you just have to accept that your opponent got you. As our players press up a bit more here. Get the ball down the wing. Bang. Beautiful. Mbappe play it. Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe. Oh, that should have gone to Nkunku. Okay, well. Um, so, do you know what I mean, guys? What? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Can't believe that's called that. 
Um, as we try and deal with my opponent here. As you guys can see, look how compact it's in the middle. Have you ever seen a 4-4-2? This bloody compact. About to get demonetized. Oh. Trouble. Trouble in the neighborhood. Trouble in the neighborhood! Trouble in the neighborhood, guys. Poor defending from me. Did I just... I don't know. I don't know who that was. Was that Messi? I don't, I don't know who that was. I didn't check this guy's team before the match like that. Is it Kiesa? I think it's Kiesa. I don't, I don't actually know. I think it was Kiesa. If it's Kiesa, then yeah, he tried to switch to his left and silly me fell for it. Um, I had a feeling he was going to turn to his left for some reason. But I didn't mark it up correctly, guys. So yes, you got to be vigilant with the 4-4-2. You've got to be on your toes, guys. Just like the players should be. I mean, Teo Hernandez, if you don't do with this. Beautiful. And Kunku, beautiful. Teo, beautiful. Benyeda, look at that. Quick pass. And Kunku, run up. You're the man who'll get forward. Well, not get forward, but you get what I mean, guys. Benyeda, 3-0. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just get your plays in the box. Bang. Go. I keep telling you guys, if you get your players in the box, the goals will come. Like, I, I mean it, man. You just need to bombard your box. Too many people are sitting back and they, they're too scared to do such a thing. I don't understand what's wrong with people nowadays. Look at that, guys. 4-0, man. 4-0 in Elite. Vieira ball. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Lightwork people, man. This is what I'm here for, man. Here to deliver for my people. Listen, guys, I love all of you. Make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how your 442 journey goes. I'm excited about this one, guys. Have a Merry Christmas if I don't see some of you. And have a great New Year. Obviously, it's time to dominate in the next New Year. So make sure to subscribe. Tell your friend as well. Let's get to 4K subs. Love all of you. Until next time. Peace.